Hey guys, welcome back to Eating with Nick. Here we are today at the Pasa Baru Buffet in Le Meridian PJ, which is located right next to Paradigm Mall. So uh, we're going to be checking out the buffet right now actually, so let's go have a look, shall we? So the first thing you see when you enter the Pasa Baru Buffet is the beautiful dessert section. However, we're going to be checking that out after the savory food because my parents always told me dessert comes after dinner. I kind of disagree, but I got to follow the rules. So anyways, the first savory food we see is sushi and I just am a big fan of sushi. Here we have tamago, we got tuna, we got unagi, which is eel for you guys who don't know that. And tamago means egg. You're welcome. We also got salmon. Right, I like pronouncing the L, it's an Asian thing I guess. People say salmon, but I prefer salmon. And we have the makis as well, tamago maki and crab maki. And you can't have Japanese food at a buffet without having sashimi. And right here we have four different types. We have salmon, tuna, butterfish and octopus. And I'm a big fan of these two. This one is creamy and it's just, it's exactly like butter. It's just, it's perfect, it's beautiful. Just be a bit, just be careful with the amount that you eat. And uh, we've got octopus, which is, you know, who doesn't love their little tentacles? And right next to all the sushi and Japanese food, we have got some seafood. Some really fresh looking and I think fresh smelling seafood. This is just amazing. Look at this oyster mound over here. We've got tiger prawns. We have got mussels. We have got um, river prawns as well and half shell scallops. And these all look so good and I cannot wait to dig in. And right next to them as well, we've got a ton of different condiments. And guys, it would not be a buffet without a salad station, again, for you salad lovers. Uh, here we've got a live salad station, which also includes capsicum, red cabbage, or I think coleslaw, um, Japanese cucumbers, cherry tomatoes, eggs, cheese, croutons. And this is really cool. It's a uh, fried turkey chips, apparently, and Caesar dressing as well. And right behind over here, we have tomato salad, uh, chicken chili oil salad, chicken tandoori salad. We're getting a bit, of the, a bit of the Indian in here. And we've also got chicken salad. If the salads were starting to bore you, don't worry, we've got a live grill station right over here where we've got sea bass and lamb. And as you can see, it just looks beautiful. I mean, look at that lamb. I just, I want it in my mouth right now, but I have to wait. We got to do the rest of the review first. Here we have the noodle station. And if you guys love tom yum, which is Thai food, or even clear chicken soup, look no further because we have got both those options right over here, along with these amazing, amazing looking ingredients. Everything just looks so fresh. Like look at those prawns. Look at the shine on those prawns. We have got different types of noodles over here. That's Mi Hoon, that's me. This appears to be Maggie, pretty sure I'm right. And, and here we have got the Indian food section. And we are starting off with a rice dish. And what is this rice dish? It's biryani rice, a classic. We've got squid pasonda. I've never heard of this word in my life, but I know that this is going to taste amazing just from the way it looks. It's just beautiful. We have got crab masala, chicken tandoori, another classic. Look at that. Look at that meat. It's just, I got to control myself. We've also got a peria masala, which if I'm not mistaken, is bitter gourd. So, uh, I think my grandma would be proud of me. And naan bread. I'm kidding, it's just naan because naan means bread. So you'd be saying bread bread if you said naan bread. So it's, it's just naan. I learned that from Spider-Man. And over here we've got a Malaysian classic which is satay as well as peanut sauce. And the satay comes in two different flavors or types. We've got chicken satay and beef satay along with cucumbers, what looks to be ketupat, and some onions for those of you who are like Shrek and just love onions. I mean, onions are good for you, it's good for your health. Eat more onions. Okay, we've got some vegetable soup and moving on now, we have Western food. We have two different types of pastas. I'm bad at Italian, but it's a broccoli pasta with a tomato-based sauce. And we have got mushroom aglio olio, one of my favorites. Next to this, we have got a seafood rice. And this has prawns, it's got squid, as well as mussels, and it just looks 
amazing. I can't wait to try this in a while. My favorite vegetable, broccoli. I think it's covered in cheese, which actually might make it a bit more bearable. So uh, I might give this a shot after this. And we have got beef lasagna, of course. And now we've got some Chinese food with shrimp chili fried rice. We've got a mussel latzi, totally pronouncing that right. We've got chicken ginger and stir fried Chinese cabbage. And this stuff just looks beautiful. And we've got some Malay food as well, starting with pajari nanas, asam pedas bawal, daging goreng kunyit, ayam minang, and of course, some steamed rice to go with all of it. And here we have the tempura station where a chef will prepare some fried items for you guys, which includes red snapper, prawns, aubergine, mushrooms, and even green chili. And we can see all of these things over here and it just looks so, so good. You guys might be able to see this or you might not be able to see this, but I am losing a lot of liquids right now. It's, I'm sweating a little bit and uh, I'm getting a bit dehydrated, but thankfully we have got a self-serve fruit juice section. Let's say cold drinks aren't really a thing and you want something a bit more, well, warm. There's a variety of different coffees we can get. Or if you want a Malaysian classic, we have the Day Tarik right over here. And now it's time for dessert. And for you guys who want a Malaysian classic yet again, lots of Malaysian classics over here, we have got an ice kacang station where it's a self-serve one where you can choose what ingredients you want. And the shaved ice is here as well. And it's, I'm gonna have this later. It's, it's really hot, it's a really hot day today. Uh, moving on, we have got what appears to be a chocolate pie, fruitcake slices. My grandparents love these. We've got tarts, we've got more pastries and cakes and more tarts and more Malaysian kueh's. Uh, we have got some jelly, we have got more pastries, we have mochi. Cannot wait to dig into this later. And we have got even more things, it's crazy. We've got macaroons as well, chocolate in the box, chocolate pops on a stick. It's, God, this is amazing, I love it. Speaking of chocolate, we've also got a chocolate fountain over here. And just look at how luscious and delicious and smooth and just like, Overall, just, this is heavenly, this is amazing. We've got some fresh fruits that you can poke with a stick and dip in this fountain to coat in chocolate. That's how chocolate fountains work, by the way, in case you guys didn't know. And behind me, we have got some cookies, as well as dodol, and what appears to be pandan dodol as well. We've got more cakes, we've got more cold desserts, like a coconut panna cotta, we've got a mango mousse, a strawberry mousse, a chocolate mousse. I love chocolate. And we have got a blueberry financier. I've never heard of this dessert, but I can't wait to try it in a while. And honeydew jelly as well as mango pudding. I just, this, this is amazing. I'm in heaven. And that'll be a wrap for our review today of the Pasar Baru Buffet here in Le Meridian PJ. Please do check it out because it just looks amazing. And the food just looks so fresh and delicious and awesome. And I cannot wait to dig in right after this bit is done recording. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, please do like and subscribe and I'll catch you guys very, very soon.